Hey guys, I'm back with a new video. In this video, we'll do a small exercise where I will show you how we can perform multiple async operations or async calls to the server and how we can gracefully handle error for each async operation if it occurs. So first I will show you using promise.all. We already know that the above exercise can easily be solved using promise.all settled. But let us see how we can perform this exercise using promise.all. So we will be using a local JSON file which is mobiles.json which is this JSON file which we can directly get from JSON file in our present working directory and we will be using fake JSON from JSON placeholder fake API for which we will have to reach out to the network so let me define a function and I will name it as init so I will say async function init and inside the function I will perform error handling using try catch block so try catch so we discussed about promise.all in great depth in one of our videos. The link for that video can be found down below. So what promise.all does is that it expects an array of promises and it will wrap them into a big promise. And if all the promises within the array of promises get resolved, only then will the big promise get resolved. So let us write some code to understand this. So first I will say const results and I will use the await keyword and I will say promise.all and inside the promise.all I will provide an array of promises and what promise.all does is as you can see here it creates a promise that is resolved with an array of results when all of the provided promises that is wrapped within an array resolve or rejected and the entire mega promise which is a big promise will get rejected when even a single promise within this array of promises gets rejected. So we want all of the promises to get resolved for this complete promise or the big promise which wraps this array of promises to get resolved. Okay. So promise.all expects an array of promises. So I will be making three async calls. One to the local JSON file which is fetch local JSON slash mobiles.json and I will tack on dot then and I will say response and then pass the JSON so I will say response dot JSON then I will copy this and I will paste it down two more times and change this to mobile dot JSON and this one is a local JSON file that doesn't exist in our present working directory as we know because we are only having a single JSON file which is mobiles dot JSON and finally one to the fake backend JSON API for which we will have to reach out to the web so I'll replace this with https colon double forward slash json placeholder dot type code dot com slash to do's now what you need to understand is that each of this async calls that you are making to either a local json file or to some json file that doesn't exist or to a network api will return as a promise okay and if all the promises within this array of promises gets resolved only then will the big promise that is wrapping all these promises will get resolved and if even a single promise gets rejected the entire big promise will stand rejected but this is not what we want i want that whatever promises succeed we should have the result for them even if some of the promises error out which we know we can easily achieve using promise.all settled but let us see how we can do that using promise.all even if some of the promises error out which is not what promise.all does because it expects that all the promises must get resolved in order for it to spit out the result though promise.all settle does what we want to do in this exercise but let me show you how we can achieve this using promise.all now if any of the async calls that we are doing here error out the big promise in which these three promises are wrapped so these three promises are wrapped inside a big promise that will get rejected okay if any of the promise errors out and it will get rejected immediately and then the catch block will run so in the catch block i can say console dot error error so let us first link the file here and here i will go down and say script src promise dot js to log the results here let us invoke the function and let us go back to the browser to see the output so here you can see we are getting an error 
and we are getting the syntax error at line number 10 in our code here okay and this line failed okay this line now as you can see one of our async calls which is the second one but the problem here is that if some of the async calls like this one and this one succeeds we are not getting the results for them and that is a limitation for promise.all so what we want is that whatever promises error out like this one this promise is giving us an error so what we want is that whatever promise errors out we should get the error at the very index at which the promise is present within the array and if the promise succeeds we should get the result at the very index at which the fulfilled promise is present within the array so what i can do is i can basically transform this array which holds the all the promises into an array of results so dot mapped for each promise so we are tagging on dot catch here on each promise and if we get an error this will get triggered the catch block will run and for each error you will give out the error and at whatever index of the array you get an error in the promise this error will appear at that very index so you are transforming it okay so you will get a new array that will hold all the results once this promise gets resolved so we are maintaining a pause at line number three and once the promise gets completed or it gets resolved you will have the array of results the result can be a success or the result can be a failure okay so whatever promise will error out the corresponding promise will get rejected so once our big promise gets resolved we will have the array of results and we can log that to the console now this should work this should somewhat be similar to what promise.all settle does because here we are ensuring that all the promise should get settled promise.all doesn't ensure that all the promises should get settled okay here this implementation will ensure that all the promises get settled either resolved or rejected but settled okay so you will get the array of results where we will have all the data for those promises that succeeded which is this one and this one and errors for those promises that failed which is this one mobile.json because this doesn't exist in our local json store or which is our present working directory so let us go back to the browser to see the results and here you can see for the very first index uh, index 0 where the first promise was sitting you got the array of mobiles okay then we got a syntax error for second async call because it failed and for the third async call we are getting 200 to do's from the fake json backend api let us see how we can achieve this using promise.all settled for that what i will do is i will basically copy this entire thing and comment this out and go down here and here I will remove this mapping that we are doing on each promise now what I will do is I will change this promise.all to promise.all settled which will do the thing that we wanted to do but we achieved that using promise.all now this solves the exercise very easily so if you go back to the browser you can see here we are getting an array of objects and if you open this array here we are getting objects that are different in structure okay here we have a status for each of the promise so if the promise succeeds you will have a status of fulfilled if it gets rejected you will have a status of rejected and then we have a value property for all those promises that succeed that is mobile sari for mobiles.json here is the data for that and for all those promises that got rejected the final result is a reason which is an error saying syntax error unexpected token because it was not able to find that JSON file and the third one did fulfilled as well so here also you are getting an array of to do's so this is how promise.all settled does the same thing and this was using promise.all okay so this was all about the video on promise.all and promise.all settled and how you can handle multiple async calls using promise.all and promise.all settled so if you like the video do give it a thumbs up subscribe to the channel 
and I will see you guys in the very next video.